Love, Hate, and Propaganda, The Cold War, a four-part series with George Strombolopoulos. The global fight for your mind. Imagine you have the most powerful weapon ever invented, and your worst enemy has it too. If either one of you uses it, it could mean the end of the world, really. What are you going to do? That's the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union want to wipe each other out. But each has to be careful not to destroy itself, too. So they fight each other with every other means at their disposal. And propaganda is the most powerful of them. It's a ruthless contest in all kinds of fields. Sports, culture, outer space, even the kitchen. It's a global war, a struggle for the hearts of every human being on the planet in a time of love, hate, and propaganda. Spring 1945, after six long years of war, time for a little celebration. From the East, the Soviet Red Army, and from the West, American GIs. They come together in the heart of Germany, at the Elbe River. The two allies rejoice in their victory over Hitler. Although they're strangers, they party as brothers in arms. But it won't last. They don't know it yet, but soon the love will be replaced with hate. What pulled the United States and the Soviet Union together during the Second World War was a common desire to defeat fascism. Once they had achieved this objective, the fundamental differences that separated the two superpowers began to appear. The Allied victory is unequivocal. Hitler has committed suicide. Berlin, the capital of the Third Reich, has been reduced to rubble, its citizens starving and miserable. Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin won big in World War II, and he intends to milk his victory for all it's worth, even if it means rewriting history. In this film, Stalin arrives in Berlin. Years of war have taught the Soviet leader that when it comes to propaganda, truth is optional. Even though Stalin never set foot in Berlin, having the people believe he was there at the sight of Hitler's defeat is good for his image. Produced at his request and scripted by Stalin himself, the film portrays him as the sole architect of the Allied victory, a message he's happy to hammer home at every opportunity. <laughs> Доказал свою полную жизнеспособность.